Today we're going to be durability testing the new OnePlus Pad and the OnePlus Stylo. I'll just use my official Linus Tech Tips orange jerry rig razor knife link in the description to slice through the plastic. Subtly as possible, of course. Then we can inconspicuously use the new matte black everything jerry rig razor knife, just $15, also link in the description, to open up the stylo. I've been practicing subliminal product placement. Let me know how you think it's going. The stylo, at first glance, appears to be very similar to the new Apple Pencil, but there are a few differences. Inside the box is an included replacement tip, but we'll get to that more in a second. The OnePlus tab is OnePlus's first venture into the portable tablet space. With how fragile their phones have been for the past few years, I really hope their ducks are all in a row this time around. This is the Halo Green Color tablet. They're trying real hard to dip into the 2006 millennial gamer market, It'll be interesting to see if the Cyclops looking camera on the back can hold its own. You know, during any stressful events that might occur. Let's get started. Inside the box, would you look at that, we get a 67 watt charging brick and a USB-C cable. Kind of nice in this day and age. One thing that I think is super cool is the metallic brushed lines radiating out from the camera circle. I guess this is where the halo part comes in. It's actually a very difficult finish to perfect, so thumbs up to OnePlus for nailing it. Not gonna lie, I don't actually own any tablets, so I can't tell you a whole lot about what they do. I just know it has a big screen and keeps kids quiet. So let's move on over to the stylo. OnePlus stylus is white, plastic, and magnetically connects to the size of the tablet. And when placed on the top right, it can also wirelessly charge with the current charge percentage appearing on screen. Kind of fun. The magnetic hold is very secure, and I don't see it falling off on its own with normal jigglings. It's not immediately apparent to how the tip of the stylo can be replaced. Turns out it's threaded and just needs to be twisted. It can, however, be sharpened fairly easily for a more finer point. If we take a look inside the stylo, we can see that the exterior is indeed plastic all the way around, and the copper coils for charging and the copper rectangles for the screen sensing location look extraordinarily exquisite. Why this technology is hidden on the inside of boring plastic covers, I'll never know. The back half of the OnePlus pencil is a bit harder to get into, but with a bit of persuasion, we find that instead of a capacitor, like we found inside of Samsung's S Pen, here we have an actual lithium battery, 82 milliamp hours, which is about one third the capacity of an Apple Watch. Normally we would see some more copper coils around the tip of the pin so that the digitizer or display can tell where the pin is located and which of the 4,000 different levels of pressure it's applying to your artwork. But this time around we have copper pads instead. OnePlus doesn't say a whole lot about the stylo technology on their website, but it does indeed look pretty cool inside. If OnePlus is trying to wiggle its way into the iPad market, of which Apple sells like 60 million units every year, They'll need to be manufactured from similar materials and have similar build qualities. If you remember, the most recent iPad amazingly did not snap in half during my bin test. Here on the OnePlus pad, we see no markings between 1 and 5, but we do see scratches at a level 6 with deeper grooves at a level 7. So far, right on par with Apple's iPad. OnePlus has also put the front-facing camera on the long side of the tablet. Kind of nice for video chats in landscape mode, the selfie camera is 8 megapixels. On the long side, we find the volume buttons are made from metal, along with metal sides and an offset 5G antenna location filled in with plastic. So far so good, since this 5G antenna location is not in a structurally significant position, and it should not be affecting the durability. The top of the tab has two of the four stereo speakers, recessed with metal speaker grills on the inside edge of the housing. The other long edge of the tablet has three small gold circles, just like the iPad, for when it's cosplaying as a laptop. The magnets are pretty strong. The bottom of the tablet has the remaining two stereo loudspeakers, as well as our 67 watt fast charging USB-C port. Flipping the tablet over to the back, we can get a better look at the singular circular 13 megapixel camera, protected with glass and slightly raised up from the green back brushed metal surface. We know it's metal because of the way that it is. One interesting fact that I've learned over the years is that color is extremely hard to recreate across mediums. For example, IPS and OLED screens display colors differently. 
different cameras record colors at slightly different shades and hues, and don't even get me started on printers. Besides the fact that you can't print black and white when you're out of yellow, getting color accurate images is extremely difficult. And that's exactly the story behind why the Hulk is green. Turns out he was originally gray, but the comic book printing facility couldn't get the gray shades consistent across all the pages, so they switched him over to green, which I think is a good move since it matches the OnePlus tablet a bit better. I don't think I'm gonna be hired as an artist by Marvel anytime soon, but it is nice seeing other colors of technology besides just black and silver. The 11.6 inch display of the OnePlus Tab is 144 hertz with 500 nits and can display 1 billion colors. It also has a 7 by 5 screen ratio to appear more like a book instead of a TV screen. And as we can see, after about 10 seconds under the heat from my lighter, the pixels do go black and turn off. OnePlus is using an IPS LCD and the screen does recover. Now, when I first started bending tablets, I thought all of them would break. And it's true. We have had a few iPads fail, but we've had other iPads live, the Galaxy Tab S8 lived, and the Surface Pro lived. And now, with a bend from the back, surprisingly, it looks like this OnePlus Tab might just live. There is some flex, but the frame and glass remain intact. Bending from the side, the screen does ripple a bit, but there are no cracks creaks or fatalities. The screen flexes out from the frame, but it is very safe to say that the OnePlus tab does survive my durability test. Probably because there's an invincible Hulk on the back, but I do gotta say it is a very awkward moment when OnePlus's tablet is stronger than their phones. Congrats OnePlus. If you want to see the insides, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, one like and I'll do it. And if you want to carve the Hulk into the back of your own technology, I'll leave a link for my new razor knives in the video description jerryrigknife.com. Thanks, Dumb, for watching. I'll see you around.